Hello Cancer, it's Daditya here with your monthly astrological synopsis. It's March 2014 and this month I wanted to speak to you about the difference between an asset and a liability. The reason for that is because just now Mercury, the communicative planet and to some extent the planet that relates to mercantile activities is in your eighth house of shared resources, debts, borrowings, this type of thing. Now the difference between an asset and a liability is uh, an asset feeds you whereas a, a liability eats you. And I, I want to specifically talk about this because some of you born under the sign of the crab this month will very much be tempted to borrow money. And that's okay. But the question is, what are you going to use this money to buy? If you're planning on buying a car or some other item that's going to immediately lose half its value and cost you money to run, then we call that a liability. That liability will eat you, obviously. So, on the other hand, purchasing an apartment as an investment property. Yes, that may cost you money initially till you pay it off, but then that's the sort of investment that's going to feed you. It's going to produce income for you. Now, I've laboured that point only because during this period, you know, we see the stationary retrograde Mars on the 2nd of March, along with Saturn on the 3rd of March, moving into their retrograde motion. You've got Mercury in the 8th house. These have a lot to do with you know, finance, speculation, fixed assets, property, this type of thing. So I think this first week of the month is strongly going to be centred on these types of issues. The other point I wanted to raise with you, um, Cancer, and I know I'm being overly serious, but, you know, when we're talking large amounts of money, and the second part of the theme, which is trust, now that's a big one because, you know, mostly you talk to any person on the street, you know, 2020 hindsight, we should have trusted this person, we should have trusted that. It never works. So this eighth house has a fair bit to do also with contracts. Even though, strictly speaking, astrology says this has to do with shared resources, usually when we share something, it's shared on the basis of an understanding, an agreement, a contract. So I raise this issue as well, because, you know, the ninth house is also activated this month. We see on the fourth, the sextile aspect from the sun to Pluto. We see the sun in the favourable aspect from this ninth house to your sun sign and also to Saturn. So there's a strong connotation here of legalities, contracts, agreements, and learning from your past mistakes on this. You know, you're one of the most sensitive signs of the zodiac, so it's probably easier for you to forgive and forget. And so what I'm saying here is I don't want you to make those same mistakes to tread down the path where you've already been um, hurt or used by other people. And this is particularly important if you're thinking of starting a business, spending money on some new hobby or an activity that you wish to turn into a money-making venture. Trust should be there, but after you've signed the contract, if you get my drift. Some sudden but positive influences can also be seen due to the favourable influence of the planet Venus to Uranus, that's on the 19th, and then on the 21st, the Sun moving to the uppermost part of your horoscope. Again, these are career-related um, aspects, and ones that I normally say very, very favourable. It gives you an upliftment in your work, gives you the opportunity to suddenly seize on uh, business and professional opportunities that might not have been there Early. But you've got to be quick off the mark, Cancer. Don't waste time because those opportunities will quickly pass you by. You've got Mercury in favourable aspect to Jupiter. Now another influence from the ninth house is travel. So some of you may be considering some long distance travel after the 27th when Mercury and Jupiter move into that favourable influence. At least planning should take place now and uh, this is the time to do it when you'll be a lot more relaxed and receive the favourable sorts of information in a timely manner that you'd like. Again, the month finishes on that eighth house theme, which is why I've spent so much time talking about debts, loans, 
Um, around the 30th, we see Venus in the favourable aspect to Mars, but an unfavourable aspect to Saturn. Again, that's um, reiterating what I said earlier. Speculation is not something you want to, to entertain this month, but certainly talking to uh, some new advisors in the um, realm of accounting or law will help you, especially if you're trying to set up a new business. So consultative measures are necessary because so much is hinging on this eighth house and whom you share your money with, who shares their money with you, what sorts of characters you're dealing with. I'll finish on that note, rather serious note. Uh, till next month, I hope you join me at my website, astrology.com.au. We have more detailed information daily, monthly and yearly on your sign of cancer and the other 11 signs of the zodiac. I'll see you here next month, cancer. Take care. Bye-bye.